We went camping. <laughs> We've been here for the past two days and tonight's our last night. We walked four hours on a trail. We've been camping. We've been swimming. We've just been having the best fucking time. The showers here are so convenient. We've been taking shower after shower because we've been just doing so many different things. After we film this video, we're going to go back into the lake and mm -hmm. hang out and watch the sunset again like we did last night. Like it's just been such a magical trip where it's just realizing you just need to take action in certain things in your life. If you don't like the way your life is in a moment, you have to change it. This kind of ties into one of the conversations that we were having this week on our trail you have to chase your excitement yeah i think i believe a lot in that your excitement is what you should live for you shouldn't be living because oh you just need to pay your bills or something which you do need i understand certain lifestyles need that i'm not just but saying every our purpose our purpose isn't paying to live i don't live to work i work to live and those who do work it can be a purpose it's just oh, for sure the purpose isn't making money in order to survive right it's, it's loving what you do i just can't do it in the way that the society is always demanding it to be done i've already told y'all like i can't function that way my body shuts down and it gets really bad so i'm just gonna do whatever the fuck i want because that's like the only life path i can do right now another thing we were talking about on the hike that we went on for four miles we were talking a lot about perspectives and lenses i've been struggling with this the past few couple weeks and i know you've been struggling yes. with this because we were talking about it on this trip where we see so many different perspectives i feel like we doubt everything we question everything putting on other people's glasses and walking a mile in their shoes and we just understand so many different perspectives that we don't know our own like we feel so lost or it's also complicated because we don't know what to believe or what to think or who we are like it's good to be able to see other perspectives but sometimes we struggle because we get lost in other people's perspectives and it's one thing to see other perspectives is another one to try to live in it live in every single one that you try on another thing we had talked about was how we overcompensate because we understand that a lot of people don't doubt themselves they don't doubt their beliefs they don't doubt what they've been taught so we overcompensate because we need a doubt for them we need a doubt for ourselves and we need a doubt for them they have a lack of doubt and we have an abundance of doubt because we want to make up for their lack of doubt like one that's out of our control regardless how other people live their life ignorant or not but it's about us choosing our lenses where we can trust our own judgment of okay this is what i choose to think right now this is the lens i choose to see life through right now but i'm aware that this could change i'm aware that i could be wrong but we are so hyper aware of how other people live where they don't think they could be wrong they can't even consider a reality where something they might think or do could be hurtful to others that's not even just beliefs that's in so many different areas of life where we overcompensate for that because we also grew up a specific way and we also have mental illness like bpd and stuff we have a hard time trusting our own perspectives because if other people are so sure about theirs but we have a lack of sense of self if everyone else is so sure about it and we're not then maybe maybe we're right. the ones wrong like maybe like, we're the ones that are wrong it's not that no one else has this perspective it's just not the one that we hear about the most it's hard to have a conversation about it, i feel like because whenever you talk to different people we recognize those behaviors where some people like they cannot be wrong so you cannot have a conversation with them about it where you challenge them and they challenge you it's always just them trying to prove themselves right or overcompensate for their fear of you saying something that might challenge them in a way that they can't handle in that moment we are okay with having those conversations we are okay with challenging ourselves we are okay with being wrong we are okay if we're wrong yeah. we're willing to talk about it we apply other people's mindsets to ourselves i can't think anything i I think is right because what if I'm like them what if I'm like them what if I'm like them if I if I claim to be right about something or I claim I want to live my life a certain way what if I'm, what if I'm like them yeah exactly what if I'm just being ignorant instead of just open-mindedness like oh that's a cool possibility like that's a cool perspective doesn't mean I'm right yeah. but that's a cool perspective on how to see the world because we all again are looking through our own glasses yeah we all have our own understandings of typically the same thing like I feel like all religions all beliefs all cultures are kind of not all but like a good amount of them are wrapped around the same idea just their own terminology vocabulary they have a lot of parallels they have yeah, a lot of parallels, parallels. Hydrate, go hydrate. i also really liked whenever we were talking about flowing with the wind or the river oh, yeah i think one thing that i personally get really overwhelmed by like when we were talking about taking action i ended up getting overwhelmed because we were going to make a video about it and then you I was kind like, of shut down yeah i did i shut down and i think that the thing that i was struggling with whenever i said i am scared i'm not going to see the bigger picture i feel sometimes like i need to experience everything and all of the different perspectives and taking actions, it feels like a really overwhelming task. What do you take action on? What am I going to take action on? And then Steph said something about how she just kind of lets the wind take her wherever. It kind of brought me back home because that's how I also like aspire to live my life. And that's one of my values that I've kind of just like scurried away from a little bit because of all the anxiety and all the voices and everything. I've just been so focused on trying to hear 
everyone around me that I haven't you, been listening we to We want to validate everybody. We want to hear everybody because we're so used to not being heard, not being understood, not being validated, even in our own perspectives. So yeah. we want to do that for everyone else, even though nobody does it for us. So we have to start doing that for ourselves. Right. This is the image that I have in my head whenever we talk about that. This is how you conceptualize <laughs> this it. This is how I conceptualize it. I learned that word on this trip. We were talking about painting the picture and we were talking about flowing with the wind. For me, I feel like I'm flowing with the river. I have this image in my head of like the river and I'm flowing down it, right? When you're flowing with the river you're moving so it's not really just a picture it's like a video mm -hmm. but I think of it as almost like an animated video or something and like I'm painting it as I go every film shot is colored in the way that I want it to be so that means just living in the moment so I paint the picture but that picture is just right now yeah and then the next moment I can also paint that picture and it yeah. doesn't have to be like all of the picture at once is painted because then that implies that I'd have to have it all figured out. The small things matter once. too and yeah. it's okay to take things slow because you can't learn everything in life all at once, which I hate. I struggle <laughs> like, with that so much. You just want to like download all the information to your brain. For real, like I just want to know everything. I want to learn everything because I feel like, oh, I'm ignorant if I don't know every aspect of life. I don't know how to handle every situation or I don't know everything about every single subject to learn about. Why do you feel like that? I just want to be aware. I want to be knowledgeable. I want to be able to apply that knowledge so that way I'm not in situations where I'm ignorant like literally one of my biggest fears is just being ignorant ignorance is being unaware of information and purposely choosing to, to not learn unaware. yeah to stay unaware and not learn that information so that way you can ignore it I just have all of those fears I'm so hard on myself because of it yeah like I just need to learn everything I need to know everything if I know everything I can trust my judgment if I know everything I know I can trust myself over external opinions because if other people tell me things it's like you're telling me this so I'm gonna like trust you but I don't know if I can trust myself like I'm I'm crazy I'm mentally ill like I don't make sense people need me to translate what I say for them to understand me I really want to learn how to validate myself and understand you myself trust yourself yeah and that's also another thing we were talking about do you feel like you can can't trust yourself unless you know everything yeah because like I know I'm missing information but I also know the affirmation where it's like we're doing the best with what we know in the moment and that kind of goes back into what I was saying about painting like every snapshot as you go because like you can only use the colors that you have how do I get indigo how do I get pink. aquamarine how do I get pink like how do I get all of the other colors because I want to broaden my perspective I want to broaden my picture but I have to do that through experiences like this and taking action I can't just sit in my room thinking all day about how much I don't make sense to other people I have to like start doing things I've been hanging out with so do. many friends you have and you read the bible and you do everything that you can you do take action there's yeah. no, you're not just but I there. literally just internalize everything that like other people don't do I apply that to myself where it's like I'm not doing enough like I'm not doing enough I don't know enough but like literally just talking in circles that's what we just no went over no one knows everything exactly no one knows everything and people I can't know can everything people can just talk like they do sometimes yeah I talk like I do sometimes me too I think I've become humbled <laughs> you've humbled yourself yeah I think I've become humbled I mean, I think it's just the fact that, like, we really don't know what's going to happen. I think that's, like, what we were talking about with the lenses is, like, we've both been struggling because we've both been putting on so many different lenses, and now it's, like... Where's think, our lens? Like, what yeah, is our like, lens? You're, like, searching through, like, a pile of freaking sunglasses, like... Which one fits me? Like... <laughs> Oh, someone's gonna think I'm <laughs> someone's gonna think I'm crazy if I wear this lens. Oh, nobody's gonna understand me if I wear this lens. Nobody's gonna support me if I live this life. So nobody's I'll be gonna be ignorant like, if I wear this lens. Yeah, I'll be ignorant if I wear this lens. Like so many different things. I think like one thing that I've been learning is that I can take little bits and pieces from things around. Like oh, I, for sure. I admire almost everyone that I talk to. For sure. Everyone has way. value. There's value in every conversation you can have, every interaction, every moment. Everyone can be a teacher if you listen, correct? Yeah, if you if your if your ears are open. Sometimes I'll notice that I'm terrified. Like I'm terrified that I'm going to become somebody while I'm talking to them. And so I'll overcompensate for that by thinking like this person's wrong, this person's wrong, this person's wrong, this person's wrong. But like they're just a person. <laughs> you can just... learn from what they're saying regardless if it's like objective truth. There's so many lessons, there's so many layers to like if someone's like trashing a grocery store and setting it on fire because like <laughs> that's a horrible example what the fuck am i saying we know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out maybe this person couldn't afford anything in the grocery store and but that doesn't excuse their behavior no it doesn't excuse their yeah. behavior but you can learn 
that some people genuinely struggle. You could learn empathy from that. You, you can, can learn, learn perspective of how some people are and where their mental state goes. And you can learn about extremes and how mm -hmm. it's important to take action on things that are injustices. Like, we should all be able to afford food. Not burning down grocery stores. Don't do no, that. that's what I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah. It's, important. <laughs> it's important to, like, take action on injustice, mm -hmm. but sometimes taking action to an extreme actually has the Does opposite more harm. effect yeah like when people are constantly in my comment sections telling me that i'm gonna go to hell for the videos y'all think you're spreading some kind of love and care which i understand your intentions but you're actually spreading so much fear and negativity and it's actually pushing her even further yeah away from like for to real be a like, i don't think i would ever convert to a religion regardless but like that's literally how so many people say like people would be christians there are people in the world who are probably atheists and want to believe in something have faith in a religion even though you know i'm against it but like there are people that's their life path yeah, that's their yeah. life purpose and they want to do it the right way without hurt harming others but you telling someone all of these horrible things that are going to happen to them and that your god is going to like send them to hell because they didn't do what he said or something or just telling them they're going to go to hell because they did something that you deem wrong in your or eyes or comparing gayness to murder that's crazy that people are doing that in my comment sections they're the most loving in the world though they have the most loving god the most accepting god so of course that's how their actions reflect in the real world some <sighs> Some, some yes. people, yes. not all of them. By we enemies. were also talking about oh, vocabulary. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, we were also talking about being more intentional with our vocabulary because whenever we say things about a certain group of people, a community of people, like Christians, let's say, we want to try to be more, I want to try being more intentional with, too. yeah, but like being more intentional with our vocabulary, being like some Christians instead of just being like Christians, Christians. girls, women, men. men. So we're not just generalizing because we know that not everyone assumes nuance. Not everybody assumes that not everything that's said about a label they identify themselves always applies to them. So we can be more intentional with our vocabulary. So that way, even if nuance isn't assumed, they can understand yeah. like some Christians, okay, I'm not a part of that some. We were also talking about how we want to be the change. Mm -hmm. And one thing that Steph, you said that you would like to see a change in is that people would assume nuance. I think in that conversation, I don't know if we came to this necessarily this conclusion, but I'm currently forming these thoughts as we're talking. I feel like it is fair for you to be the change in like having people assume nuance, but in circumstances where you've been been talking to the same people and they aren't assuming nuance and you still want to communicate something to them that's when you would adjust your vocabulary. You have to adjust your vocabulary. If you want to communicate yeah. effectively. Everybody comprehends things differently and sometimes people are closed off to comprehension or closed off to genuine understandings or people are trying to but they can't understand in the yeah. way you say things. They might so. not even have access to that perspective or that right. lens yeah they don't have access to it so it's like trying to create a bridge between the two thoughts and kind of connect it in a way that they would be able to understand and digest because i feel like sometimes i say things that i feel like could help people and see different perspectives but the way i come across with my point could be done a lot better my screensaver right now which i'm about to change to the one you sent me is it's frustrating when people who are insightful say things a certain way because then they're gonna push away the people that most likely need to hear the message the most mm -hmm. like whenever you say something a certain way if you ridicule the person or if you put someone down while trying to give the message like they're already they're gonna shut going down to it. yeah they're gonna shut down of course they're gonna shut down like if you're telling someone your entire life is a lie and everything you believe is actually a lot more harmful than you think they're gonna shut down like if you just say it like that by believing in this and yeah like it's it's because it almost is an attack on their character yeah and yeah it's attack on, on their character and their beliefs and their family like yeah. it's like everything and it's more it's a lot more effective to come from a place of compassion and that's what i've really been working on you've been really like you have been doing amazing I try, but I also feel like I slip up a lot again with my vocabulary because I just get so frustrated sometimes. Like sometimes I'll literally just be reading the Bible and I just start crying. I'm like, I literally will go on the internet and I'll start sobbing. Like the one that went viral and then this guy made a video about it and he got like a million views. I know he made so much money off of me. It actually pisses me off. I go on the internet and I just start sobbing because it's like, I can't believe this is like what people read and worship. I can't comprehend that. I can't understand that because it's such vile behavior and things are commanding to happen to kids and people literally will bat their eyes at you and be like that's god he can do whatever he wants they're gonna go to heaven if if we're using that argument like i loved what you said where how god is timeless so god's changed since then but isn't god supposed to be infinite timeless and all this different yeah. stuff so shouldn't he have known better even then he would have never commanded for people to do that 
like especially if sin. he was especially if he was Jesus and there's this holy trinity concept people are convinced to believe in where it's like Jesus is the guy of the old testament and the old testament god is Jesus where it's like so Jesus was always with him but he acted that way even as Jesus and then when he was Jesus in the physical form, then he did not condone any of that stuff, yeah. but he committed that stuff. Like, a lot of people will say, like, the people that died, they were already going to go to hell because they, you know, they were sinners and they were never going to come to God. And that's why they were killed, which I I've can, heard so many different reasons. I've never heard that, that one. I can understand that. I have heard that. And like that, I feel like makes sense to me. But why would you have your people do it? Because then you're having them committing sins too, which I know you right. forgive them, but there is trauma. There is pain. We are sensitive beings. And so being told to kill someone, we're going to repeat that pattern over time. Mm -hmm. so and that's if, why we're still in these patterns yeah, of war, fear, it's a and habit. And everything. Like, and so like, if we're just over and over conquering different people, like if you're an all knowing, all powerful God, why couldn't you just kill them with a snap of a finger and make everyone forget they ever existed? Right. Why like, wouldn't you kill the babies in a way that you know that, that wouldn't cause them pain yeah. and with the argument where it's like oh they're just gonna go to heaven anyways like you just said one where like they're gonna go to hell but like the babies right they're innocent they're just gonna go to heaven we could use that now and be like just go murder a bunch of kids for self-benefit out of war whatever you want to blame it on whatever your intentions are and then be like well they're gonna go to heaven anyways like they're gonna go to heaven anyways As like don't feel sad don't families. feel bad don't act like they're gonna be in pain don't act like it's gonna hurt their family they're just in heaven get over it like grow up they were being mass genocide mass murdered like the amount of trauma they had to experience for a certain amount of time like palestine they're not only going through trauma as people are getting killed but eventually they end up getting killed themselves and then that turns into generational trauma because exactly. if you know about epigenetics and all of that trauma is passed down through our blood <laughs> like my mom and my grandma and like everyone we all have the trauma in us basically your grandma whenever your mom was like being conceived yes you were already like existing too like, like in egg. the egg yeah. yeah so three generations in one person and like you actually it does connect like all of us can feel it at once even if mm. we don't know it trauma is generational and it's real if you think standing for something like genocide is okay defending people being murdered for self-benefit because it's a war oh that makes everything okay nothing is bad like oh it was a war oh it's i'm so, so dumb oh i should have just known even though it's really frustrating and angering as someone who has switched between like so many lenses like, I actually understand. Like, not in, like, a I understand and I condone. Yeah. But more just, like, I, I understand there is a lens where it, like, makes sense. I think that's how I also am able to have compassion. Anyone can read the Bible through their lens and it can exactly. be completely different. And like, I, some people can read this with a specific lens and be like, oh, yeah, that's mercy. That's love. That's hope. And it's, like, terrifying from the lenses that we have in our values. But it makes sense to But them. it makes sense to them. There are some things that we've both believed in that were also kind of scary. Like, oh, for sure. We've had our moments. Like, we thought there was separation and that some people didn't deserve to make it certain places. Oh, yeah. Like, whenever I thought that the Earth was going to split and, like, people were going to disappear from Earth on the eclipse. Yeah. yeah. It was literally just a comparison of, like, oh, I'm doing the exact same thing. It where was... it's, like, some people are going to get to go to heaven, some people are going to get to go to hell. It's actually crazy how many like parallels there are especially one that like actually i don't know kind of curates to your values and beliefs the specific lens that i think you were in at the moment like everything else kind of aligned with your values so like whenever that part came in it was easier for it to become part of your belief there's i think different sides to spirituality because there's you know spiritual ego the spiritual ego where yeah. you think you're better than everyone yeah else like your vibrations you, it's literally the and, like, same thing where like yeah. you believe what you think is right and everybody else is wrong and, and if you're not you're on good high... at believing it yeah like you're better it, again another parallel that's the coolest part about beliefs where it's like they're all so similar but because of the terminology the barrier terminology yeah. where like think of it like a language barrier where you can't talk to someone who knows spanish and they can't communicate with you because you only know english it's like you trying to use your own terminology your own vocabulary in your own language mm -hmm. of course the message isn't coming across the way you want it to or it's not being comprehended or it's not even being listened to because the person can't understand you regardless or you're using different terminology than what they're used to for example like manifestation and prayer manifestation and prayer are really similar in the way that like one of them is kind of using like your own power and your own energy mm -hmm. in order to create the outcome that you desire mm -hmm. and the other one is believing in the power and energy of an external source to mm -hmm. make that happen for you but either way you're putting out your goals and your desires like you're just putting them out into the universe
Yeah, and everybody has their own rituals. These things can be used as great tools, but that's what they all are. They're tools, like uh, manifestation are tools. Like if you just lived in a state where you had an abundance mindset and all of these different things, you'd be a living manifestation of manifestation with prayer. If you're constantly just maybe having conversations with your God or talking to your God, praying to your God, that's you constantly living in that lifestyle. It's just different tools that we use. Those rituals are how you portray those beliefs and take action on those beliefs. Yeah. That's how you take action on the beliefs. I think that's and what I'm saying. And they're all just it. like different different lenses like yeah exactly. like all of them really are they are different lenses but put into action it's, so it's like how you act based off of the lens that you wear mm -hmm. how you act based on the lens that you wear yeah maybe for christians or muslims or like literally any group of people who believe something which all of those people those are really big religions there are so many little different categories of different ways to believe in those things yeah but all of those people have something that resonates with them and a way that they that's what how they feel called to live their life that's how they feel called to just live like to yeah. be themselves that's their best way of living their lives like there's this video i watched from a nun and someone asked a question to her being like how do you know what you believe is true and she's like i don't like i don't know <laughs> yeah. if this is what's real i can't prove all of these different things and in my head i was like that's so respectable like and then she goes on to keep saying this is what i know to be right for my life this is what i feel best living my life as and doing and acting but i don't know if what i believe is real i just know it's best for myself and i was like that's so respectable because that's what beliefs are beliefs yeah. are like we all have our own interpretations of the divine or to create a purpose for ourselves whatever the intention or meaning might be for you so i think like what can be harmful is when you decide that you do know yeah like whenever you get to that point where it's like i am right and everybody else is wrong and there's nothing wrong with deciding that you know something like i don't like think it's it, okay I to think, think that it's... you're right but you have to be okay with being wrong wait say that it's actually really helpful that people are pushing their beliefs onto other people yeah say that it's actually helping right mm -hmm. but say that it's not it could be really harmful that like if your belief is that transgender people are like gay people and like people there are people, certain people that you determine shouldn't have rights yeah, they shouldn't be able to live life how they feel called to live their life because you feel called to live this life and you live by a certain set of rules and a certain set of morals that are wrong and right and everybody else has to live by those same exact rules yeah because you're right and everybody else is wrong exactly and like i think part of that ties into like in christianity one of like the way to follow jesus is to also help other people follow jesus yeah. and i think that's where it's hard because like they're fundamentally taught that what they're they supposed to do is to. make everybody else do this and we all have our <laughs> little quirks and problems right yeah, there are a lot sure. of christians out there who when they're trying to save people or at least educate them about the lord that they believe in they do it in a very kind way and they do it in a compassionate way oh i know the kindest people for yeah sure. exactly i have friends who like me too my best yeah, friends yeah exactly so like there are people out there who do it in a way that really does align with you know, their How beliefs Jesus in was. Jesus. I fuck with people who fuck with Jesus. For me, I feel like a lot of the people that I know that like fuck with Jesus also believe that Jesus is the same God as the Old Testament. Yeah. And so I still, But it depends on I whether they've read it or not. Yeah, and they have course, read it. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's hard in this world sometimes because sometimes people believe something that... Really, truly impacts other people. It impacts other people. Whether they're harming other people or helping other people will never know but no no we know yeah we know i love this perspective because yes. i do think it's important for you to share this yeah. perspective but for me the perspective i see it from it's like if someone was literally teaching that two plus two equals three oh you have to respect that belief you have to respect because we don't know what's wrong and right i can put two and sticks together and put another two sticks together and know damn well this is not three sticks yeah you know and so like it is hurting people yeah it like is there hurting are people. there's people being killed there's people being like having their rights taken away there's people going to all throughout jail. life like literally <laughs> like i was telling you with the crusades yeah. and everything the muslim conquest and everything all of these different beliefs that have been fighting and been spread through all of these wars and conquering because the wars weren't about religion it wasn't like they were fighting each other to like spread the religions but that's just a consequence of it and all yeah. that but religions all of this time all of the bible it has all been twisted corrupted and all of these different things yeah. and it's just been spread through murder ignorance and lies right it's literally been spread you have to look in fear. history exactly exactly and hate exactly and it's like just because some people now like even i grew up in it you know you live in Me a bubble too. where you experience the good of it where some people have good intentions they're kind they're loving they want to follow jesus rule and like they follow just that and like that's really great 
like there are so many other things where it's like we are in a different time period now we are in a different time period now we have so much more information than we did at that time yeah. we live in a time now where we have technology and understandings and we can whenever the bible was being translated they didn't have some understandings that we have now so some of the translations might not be fully accurate we need to keep updating right. everything keep learning keep like there was a questions. time there was a time where everybody well not everybody again i think all in nothing vocabulary but a lot of people thought that the earth was flat like that's fucking crazy like because they had limited information at mm -hmm. the time and they were going off of what they currently understood yeah. but we are in a different time period where we, where we understand have, uh, things differently you know so and sorry. it's knowing no, no that's where I apologize. I, I, I just get passionate that. about it where it's like I see it from the perspective where like some things we do know where that's where it comes yeah. to where we doubt ourselves where like oh we can't know anything we know some things there are some things we do know with science and math and history like things that we can definitively know yes still doubt and question but we can't live ignorant with the whole we have to respect everybody's beliefs we have to just believe everybody's right because we can't prove they're wrong where it's like innocent until proven guilty but like we can't we can't use that in a sense of right until proven wrong we were talking about ignorance right mm -hmm. are you saying basically that people who like believe in the bible are being ignorant because there are other sources they're allowed to live through that lens that's the path that some people feel called to we're still getting out of this era we're kind of in the middle of like pre-modern technology to where like we can literally google anything at the tip of our fingertips now but this is still a new concept there are yeah. old people i was in a pizza shop picking up an uber eats order and the man didn't know how to do tap to pay and it's like it just reminds you that we are literally transitioning from a time they didn't even have technology they couldn't just access each other at any given time learn anything at any given given time yeah they had the to go pick up a book. At our fingertips right so like now things are are different but people like conservatism no offense but like conservatives Conserv and Let's that ideology what that means yeah like right now yeah like conservative means that you want to conserve things the old way how traditional it's literally like living in the ice age but then now the seasons have changed and it's like all hot and tropic but it's like but we still need to live by the ice age guys it's gonna be so cold and you're like no we're in a forest that is burning hot we need to change the way we do things yeah. we need to change the way we think we need to change the way the habits that we have and the way we live life the way we build houses to construct to this new environment this new understanding like that's a broad example like that's yeah, a horrible no, example but hey. <laughs> it's a good example so with conservatism i feel like it's selective because like there are a lot of things that we could conserve like oh there's a lot know, of like things nature. we can conserve <laughs> like well, the way that we live yeah. in like groups in society that's where like the nuance comes in yeah. we're like of course like we need to conserve some things but other yeah, things but just need to like they, outgrow our to, training like, wheels yeah, like i'm saying that the conservatives now are not thinking about like all of the things like they're only doing the things that like benefit them which that's a that's the that thing is, though it's profit because yes, if you have a bunch that's of that's a very generalized statement exactly. and i don't mean that like completely like that there are people who are trying to conserve things that are good or are only more beneficial be more beneficial and ludicrous ludicrous <laughs> Lucrative. Lucrative? Is that the word you were trying to say? Lucrative. Ludicrous. Oh my gosh. That's I thought ludicrous was I mean, like ludic crazy. Ludicrous was like, someone that was in a wild. song with Usher. But yes. Okay. Conservatism. Continue. But inherently, like I guess from my perspective, which thank you for broadening it, obviously. <laughs> Hello. A lot of people, they want to conserve privilege. They want to conserve what benefits them because the way the system is right now, it's literally built on the oppression of others. You want to conserve certain things because it lets you have the privilege you have, but it also causes so much harm for other people. We are not only evolving, growing and changing and learning, and you just want to stay stagnant because you're gonna, what, like literally all you would lose is maybe some privileges and maybe just have to admit that you were wrong about something. They just want to be equal. We just want everybody to know like, they have value in you're not gonna be below life. anyone, hun. Exactly, <laughs> they want to have have that higher status i do think there could be so many pros to capitalism yeah, there's a lot but of we can't have it right. like how it is right now because of the conservatism where it's like the rich are really 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 rich there's a lot of people that are struggling and there are so many people who have scraps like nothing they want to keep things live. the way they are because they don't get to live in that greedy ass selfish ass luxury if they admit that everybody deserves to have the same equal rights because they can look at a homeless person being like just go get a job like that's what i did i built my business from the ground you should just get your ass up and go get a job there is just such a limited way of thinking within conservatism yeah. because like conservatism like 
what are we conserving slavery the oppression that our country was inherently built off of it's like what we need to do is take off the training wheels like it's still going to be a bike we can still have some of the things we've always known that's great that's cool but we can grow evolve build learn one of my values is like to be Care for others, yeah. And to be kind. I never want to get to a point where I feel so entitled to a piece of paper that I did something for it that I would never want to help. Like imagine like Jesus again. Let's go back to Jesus. Like he had these magical abilities that he could heal people. People aren't entitled to his magic. They're not entitled to his abilities. Yeah. He doesn't have to like share his yeah. amazing, incredible ability with others. But why would you keep it to yourself if you have such an abundance of an ability? Right. Like we feel aligned with Jesus values. Yeah, for sure. I love doing videos with you where we're able to share our thought yeah. patterns. I feel like we would have a really fun podcast. Yeah. Which I know that's not something that really aligns with either of us right now, yeah. but I could see it happening in the future. Yeah, maybe. I feel like our conversations, we have very different perspectives that it's not really different as in like conflicting. Like they're not conflicting perspectives, but we just have different perspectives and then yeah. we get to share them and learn from each other. I really like these kind of conversations. I think I benefit from them quite a bit. Like, I feel like we balance each other out. I feel like I'm very in my mind. I like to think I'm in my thoughts. Yeah. I'm all of that kind of stuff. And you're, you do the same thing, but you're also like very in love and very, you have a lot of compassion and empathy and you see those perspectives more potently so for me it helps me where it's like okay yeah remember compassion these people are a victim of their circumstance you know not a victim but you get what I'm saying yeah. some people think a certain way because it's all they've ever been taught and they don't even know how it affects other people yeah. you know not that it's wrong it's just such an inefficient way of living life when it comes to the collective you know but you're right in the fact that like you know how like you can only really learn some things through experience yeah so I think that's where I have compassion for those people but you are right that we have all this information at the tip of our fingers now we are responsible for educating ourselves yeah. so although some people may never actually be able to imagine or conceptualize what it would be like to be somebody else who has less than them or more than them because we also have no idea what it would be like to be a billionaire like yeah i know i would enjoy <laughs> that shit i just don't think in this current mindset the way i've lived my current consciousness here I don't think I'd be able to live with myself. Like, yeah. I literally could not live with myself with so much more money than I could even conceptualize. I wouldn't be able to have it without giving it away, you know? But yeah. I can understand Same. from, like, maybe if I was transported into their consciousness, if I was them, if I was their soul, their spirit, that person, whatever. There's so many justifications. They live in a certain bubble of understanding of how the world works. They live, they, they're playing a completely different game with completely different rules. So it's like, of course, they think a certain way because they're only exposed to those certain rules and all of that stuff, that mindset, which, again, is seeing the value in everything, what we can learn from them and all that. But <laughs> it can be frustrating. <laughs> and that we were also talking about that. Like, yeah. things can be frustrating and be valuable. Yeah. Because, like, that's what you could be gaining from it. The value could be the emotion of frustration or the understanding of why it's frustrating. If something frustrates you, that's an indicator of what you care about. Yeah. That's an indicator of what you value, and that yeah. actually builds your sense of self. Yeah. Emotions are important, even negative ones. Negative yeah. feelings matter. People push away the negative feelings. It's the devil. My friend told me a story about one person, their trauma was coming up for them and they thought it was the devil. They have to push it down. The devil's trying to get to them. They're trying to make them feel negative. And it's like, no, sweetheart, like your brain is giving you these memories so you can try to process them, you know? If you keep suppressing you them and pushing them down, them. if you think it's the devil, you're never gonna face it. Like you're supposed, even if you want to conceptualize it as the devil, a demon, Satan, that's what helps you understand things and your trauma and stuff. Think of it as something you're supposed to fight and overcome, not basically submit to and cower in fear to, you know? Yeah. We're going to go like. swim. But I, I like that I'm we got excited. a lot of... Me too. <laughs> I'm excited. I think we got a lot of our thoughts off of our chest. And I think yes. that we shared a lot of our perspectives. And yeah. I'm excited for hopefully one day if someone watches this to get other people's perspectives. Because yeah. I know, like, I really don't focus on the compassionate and understanding perspectives a lot. I'm more focused on how I feel about it, which is frustration, anger, and annoyance a lot and of the you're time. very rooted in the facts, and I really admire that about you because not a lot of people take the time out of their day to go and, like, genuinely, like, 
Fact but again, that's the thing where it's really difficult because obviously I don't know if the sources I'm learning from yeah. are completely validated, but it's like, it kind of makes more sense than what I'm, I'm just sharing what I, the same way they are, like, I'm just sharing what I've learned, what I understand from my perspective, and I'm willing to see different things. Like, I'm willing to understand that maybe the sources I'm watching maybe aren't credible. Like, you yeah. could be wrong. I could be wrong, but, but this is currently you, how I feel and believe based on the information I currently have. I value a lot of things that you value and you the same to me, mm -hmm. but we do have different, like, core values and different yeah, things we're different we're, people yeah exactly we both it's, value each other for who we are and the way we see things yeah. not because you see things the way i see things so i like you it's i like, like you because you challenge me i like you because you challenge me too i like you because we're very similar we do share a lot of values yes. but we don't think the exact same way how not at all it's so boring just always hearing the same thing over and over again where it's like we're doing something so new we also skinny dipped for the first time. yeah we went skinny dipped we went skinny dipping in the lake. I've never skinny dipped. Mm -hmm. I know you've never done it. We were just both completely alone and we were like, I want to try something new because this whole thing yeah. has been new. This is my first time car camping with you. Mm -hmm. First time camping, camping with you. First time going in a national forest being this autonomous alone. First doing it even without me too. Like you've yeah. never done it at all. Yeah, I've never done it at all. So it's like doing it first. And we did skinny dipping too because we were both like, okay, I was so fearful for a while. She searched up all of the laws and stuff. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. But again, the, this whole trip has taught me that you feel fear. Fear is a normal part of life. The only way to learn things is if you push past that fear and figure the fuck out for yourself. Fuck around and find out. Yeah, but also sometimes fear does serve you. Like if you're afraid to get fined, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, for sure. But it's a matter of like that gamble. Like you yeah, make the which choice. Do you care, which do you value more? Yeah. Faith or fear. That's something I did like hearing where it's like have faith that things are going to work out the way you imagine it or fear that things will work out the negative way that you imagine it. So it's like, okay, I'd rather just have faith that this is going to turn into a beautiful moment, a beautiful experience, like skinny dipping. Like we didn't see each other yeah, or anything. We, we it was just, just so like nice. undressed in the water. Yeah. And it was so nice. So it was like having that faith. I do wish that faith was a little less like spiritual or religious of a terminology because I think faith is just such a core part of life, even if it's not like having faith in a higher power. Power. it's just having faith in the unknown having what faith that you don't know how i'm so no, sorry i keep cutting you off i'm sorry having faith that something will work out in the way that you imagine it like kind of like the law of assumption you know just having faith that things will work out and that you believe in yourself you're putting trust in yourself and the decision you're making and just having faith that whatever decision you make is going to work out in your benefit and i think again like the terminology that could be you having faith in god and god's going to make it work out a specific way you have faith in yourself and you're going to make it work out in a certain way you have faith in the universe that it's going to make work out a certain way energy is going to work out a certain way you know like whatever however you personally conceptualize it your perspective on how to understand life and go through life i just think i had such like a negative bias towards faith for so long just yeah. because of like certain things i would be around but now i have like a better relationship with it i wonder if you know how like in different languages like words are said differently and like yeah. used in different contexts and stuff but yeah. i wonder if faith isn't so religious based in other languages and cultures it's a noun yeah yeah it's a noun. complete trust or confidence in something or someone yeah it's a noun and it doesn't have to have the connotation that uh, we're raised to think it has okay so there's two complete trust or confidence in someone or something that's number one and two is a strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. So well, yeah, two different things. There's different, everybody has different definitions yeah. though for certain words, you know, yeah, like exactly. that's something I like very much, I'm very aware of that where it's like now, especially with what, literally what I just said about faith, where I'm now broadening my definition of what faith is yes. and getting outside of the bias of what I've always thought faith was and had to be. Now I have my own definition and understanding of it to yeah. where in my life I'm able to utilize it without the constant like, oh, but I don't mean faith in the way of like ignoring information just to believe what you want to believe i mean oh i'm just having faith in the unknown and having faith that things are going to work out in my favor even if it doesn't work out the way i imagine it or something goes wrong or goes wrong like everything that happened with my family we wouldn't have ended up on this trip if like i wasn't talked to the way i was talked to you know where it made me feel really bad in the moment i was really overwhelmed but then this is what came out of it so it's like i truly have faith that everything happens for a reason in the unknown if things are going bad i trust that things are going to work out better because of it thank you for watching <laughs> i appreciate you guys watching if you guys enjoyed this video please let us know in the comments or like the video down below <laughs> i hope you guys gained something from the video in general but if you didn't if you learned absolutely nothing from this video or you just didn't enjoy it in general i do apologize but i hope you leave this video knowing there's like so loud do you hear them <laughs> Yeah, period. <laughs> Communicate with them. Please I just think leave. I can just like be a cricket whisperer. 
Period, yeah. Follow your dreams. That's my lens. Yeah, period. Cricket whisper. <laughs> Please just leave this video knowing that you are sexy, you are valid, and you are so loved. And I will see you in the next video. And you're entitled to your own lens. Period. Hope you like my videos. Is there anything else I'm supposed to say at the YouTubers?